In section 17, we're going to take a, a closer look at the one-to-one -one type function. Now, back in section 1, we had discussed the notion of a mapping and the notion of a function. And we had explained that a function was just a special type of mapping. And when we talked about mappings, we had said that there were four types of mappings that we could end up encountering. There was the one-to-one -one map, there was a many-to-one type map. There is a one-to-many type map. And then the most uh, complex of them all was the many-to-many -many type map. And we developed a test in, in the first section about uh, how to distinguish between um, which ones of these four are going to represent a function and this was called the vertical line test and we abbreviate that VLT vertical line test so if I was to look at the um, example here 17.1 and apply the vertical line test to all of these just drawing random vertical lines uh, pretend they're vertical I was drawing them quickly there um, but all three of these pictures are going to pass the vertical line test, which means all of them represent a function. So that automatically eliminates one-to-many and many-to-many -many type mappings here. So only the one-to-one -one and many-to-one -one maps count as being a function. So each one of these three has to fit into one of those two categories. So our goal here is to have a better understanding of how to tell when you have a one-to-one -one function. So definition 17.1 gives us a little insight about the one-to-one uh, -one type function. It says, let f be a map from A to B, which means that A represents the domain, and we're going to have this represent a function. So we already know that all three of these pictures are functions. That's by the vertical line test. Then it says, let x1 and x2 be elements from A, where A is the domain. So let's say we look at picture A. I want to pick negative 2. I'll have that be x1. And then I'll pick, uh, let's say, positive 1. I'll have that be x2. Then it says the function f is said to be 1 to 1 if no two elements of A have the same function value. So what that means in mathematical notation is that anytime we pick x1 to not be equal to x2, then that means that the function value for x1 is not allowed to be the same as the function value for x2. Remember, <clears throat> when I say function value, I'm referring to the y value. So this is analogous to saying y1 is not going to be equal to y2. So if I look at the uh, two x values that I just picked, certainly the x1 and x2 are not equal to each other. Those are different. And if I carry down x1 to my curve and then carry it over, I can find the location of f of x1. And then do the same thing for x2. I can find the location for f of x2. And then those two are also not the same. So if that can be done for every conceivable pair of x1 and x2, then that means that your function is one to one. The uh, picture for b is a uh, square root function. It's had some transformations applied to it, but it's still just a square root function. Um, you can do the same thing with that. So part a is one to one and part B here is also going to be considered one to one but if you look at part C and let's say that I pick x1 to be uh, 2 let me try that again I want 2 and let's say I want 4 to be my x2 now certainly those two x values are not the same they're different but if I come down here and look at the uh, function value, both of those are going to end up mapping to the exact same location. 
f of x1 is going to be identical to f of x2. And that right there violates the definition for being one to one. So in a, in a more informal language, we would say that none of the x's can repeat, and then also none of the y values are allowed to repeat if our function is going to be one to one. So this is uh, not a one to one function. Um, so if it's not one to one, it must be many to one because we already know that it's a function. So it's only one of those two options. We're really going to be more interested in the one to one type functions though. And then theorem 17.1 ends up giving us a, uh, a test like the vertical line test. This one is called the horizontal line test. Let me write that in. And the horizontal line test is a direct consequence of definition 17.1. It says a function is one to one if and only if no horizontal line intersects its graph more than once. Okay, so let me wipe these pictures clean best I can. And if we start thinking about putting uh, some horizontal lines on these, what kind of results are we going to get? So let me get a different color here. I think orange. If I start drawing horizontal lines, every horizontal line on picture A only crosses once. That means it's one to one. Every horizontal line on part B also crosses just once. It's one to one. But I start drawing horizontal lines on picture C and all the ones that I drew end up crossing more than once. They cross twice, hence why it is not one to one. So you'll first use the vertical line test to verify that your function or your mapping, I should say, is a function. And then you'll use the horizontal line test to determine if it's one to one or not.